what's going on everyone and who for the second time in a week we did it youtube actually watched my video yesterday although they demonetized it ah! nonetheless they did watch it and they replied to me and i'm going to talk to you about what they said and what this all means but most importantly I want to lead off with a huge thank you to all of you for continuing to mobilize. I know it feels like every day there's a new thing that we've got to mobilize for. And I guess that's what I like about doing YouTube is helping others even when they don't want your help or they're, they get mad about it. I'm not sure. Uh, and because of all of your uh, help, we've been able to do some good things. Uh, just last week, we had... Um, MXR, remember, um, with the demonetization issues and everything going on that was affecting more YouTubers than I knew at the time. Because of that video, because of all of your hard work sharing it, not only did YouTube respond, okay, but they had it fixed, like basically the next day. Um, I know that I've talked to a few other creators that are still having problems here and there, but I can tell you the overwhelming majority of creators uh, on that particular issue uh, have seen improvement. And I think this goes to, uh, you know, you get more flies with honey, so to speak. You don't want to just rail endlessly on Team YouTube because on the other side of that Twitter account is just real people that probably like their job and probably like helping people. And I don't think it's fair to take the corporate complaints that we have about YouTube and dump it on whatever poor person is answering DMs on their team YouTube account. That doesn't dismiss their responsibility for a lot of things. For example, I can't figure out why my views are continue to increase and revenue continues to decrease. I don't know if it's COPPA or what the situation is. But at the end of the day, we still need the real people at YouTube to look at things. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Usually it'll be something, some new technology that will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. There will be an investigation, years will pass. This time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take 10 years. It's too late. I talked yesterday about VTubers, which are virtual YouTubers, very, very popular in Japan. In fact, uh, have been for many years. Um, you had all the way back to 2008, I'm sorry, 2017, 2018, articles being written about just how popular it is. And just a few days ago on January 19th, Japan's virtual celebrities rise threaten the real ones. Brands look into 9,000 VTubers as low risk, high reward marketing tools. And I think I understand um, the appeal now, because while well, I don't know if the videos are for me, because most of it's in Japanese and I can't understand it, uh, it's kind of cool. It's like, uh, you're talking to a real cartoon. I think that's what it is. Um, a real avatar, um, a real waifu that can interact with you directly and read chat. And it's very cool. Uh, I'm surprised that it isn't more popular in the United States, I would expect to see some level of increase in it. Um, but to frame what happened yesterday, the reason we made the video, essentially, I think what happened was, what had happened was, so many of these VTubers have fan accounts that translate uh, what they're saying, particularly probably to English as the most popular ones. And because so many, this is just, I don't know this for sure, uh, YouTube hasn't confirmed this to me yet, but I don't know if they will, maybe they will, but because there's so many basically clip sites 
of the exact same, you know, large sections of these clips with um, subtitles with translations on them, the YouTube bot might have seen loads of duplicates. In fact, what I'm thinking is the actual, in some cases, the actual main account, the main creator's sub accounts were still monetized while the creator who's making it the content got demonetized. That's how messed up it is. And that's because the, uh, that's because of the algorithm, as far as I can tell. Uh, YouTube must have seen, the bot must have seen these shorter clips as unique and the longer clips as just putting together clips. I don't know. I was actually concerned because, I don't know if you know this, but I actually have a podcast channel that puts all of my daily videos together. My editor does that. He just puts all five videos for the day, whether I do them here on the quartering or Midwestly. It's called the quartering daily. And I was really wondering if it was going to get monetized, if YouTube would see that as duplicate content, because they're putting down a lot of this reused, you know, under the guise of reused content. And I think that that's uh, a bot related issue. And in the video yesterday, I talked about how uh, there's no way uh, that a human could have reviewed that and not saw these VTubers as popular or unique. They absolutely are. In fact, in many ways, they're far more unique than any of your traditional YouTubers. I don't know if they all use mocap and stuff like that, but it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool technology. Uh, some giant mocap company out there, you know, sent some stuff. I'll do, I'll do a video for you. Maybe. But, I mean, it's a huge section. There are virtual YouTubers or VTubers, digitally animated characters that can mat play many of the roles human celebrities do, from performing in concerts to pitching products. They could transform advertising, TV news, and entertainment as we know them. Japan has seen a surge in the number of these virtual entertainers in the past couple of years. The, quote, population has surpassed 9,000. It's over 9,000! How do you not, oh, how do you unironically say that? Up from 200 at the beginning of 2018, according to Tokyo Web Analytics Company. One startup executive in the business said that popular VTubers could bring in several hundred million yen or several million dollars a year. Uh, the CEO of a production company called Ballas, whose website promises immersive experiences and real world, real and virtual world crossover, estimates the annual market for avatars somewhere between 5 billion and 10 billion yen, or 50 million and 100 million. He reckons the figure will hit 50 billion yen in the coming years. The most VTuber of them all is Kazuna Ai, a young girl with big pink ribbon in her hair. She has around 6 million followers across YouTube. TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. She puts on concerts, posts video game commentary, releases book photos, and appears in commercials and TV shows. The startup behind Kazuna AI, or AI, the AI stands for Artificial Intelligent, is Activate. It has a stable of about 50 other VTubers and relies on license fees for using their characters in ads as well as events and novelties. This is a huge space. I definitely, and I think we saw like the J Japanese like personal waifu, uh, you know, come who comes, you know, who is your digital assistant. I think that this space will continue to grow, and uh, YouTube in and of itself uh, needs to account for this. Now, last night, actually, I'm sorry, just two hours ago, uh, Team YouTube not only replied but said they watched my video on it and are passing it along to the teams to take a look this is great news because i'm confident that in spite of all of our complaints about youtube i still think that there are good people inside that building doing a good job and i believe strongly that this will get rectified sooner than later because what had happened was a large section. So if there was 9,000 VTubers at this time, I'm assuming many of them were hit by this. Maybe some of them aren't very large and don't have demonetized, but the best, or they don't have monetization. But the only way I can really describe this is it's like getting fired from your job with no notice. When YouTube uh, cuts you off, it's as cold as it comes. It's a random email sent at some time in the middle of the night saying, hey, sorry, we've revoked your, your privilege to earn a living. 
And I know that many YouTubers uh, don't do this full time. I, you know, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I refuse to quit my day job uh, because it could all disappear tomorrow. And a YouTuber's lifespan is like pff, maybe a couple of years, although VTubers can live immortally, uh, I suppose. But nonetheless, uh, I'm really, really thankful that Team YouTube uh, seems to be looking into this. I'm confident that they will get it corrected relatively soon. I just thought, you know, hey, this is the second time that they've reached out directly. And that's because of all of you and everything. That, so all those people that say, ah, is it worth it? Jeremy wants us to retweet another video. Oh my God. Yes, it's worth it because it works. This is the second time in two weeks that they've responded directly to us and corrected things. I have absolutely no uh, um, doubt in my mind that they will fix, the, fix this now. And that's great. And look, every time you get somebody like this, someone finally makes a video about YouTube demonetizing VTubers and is some anti-SJW outrage grifter. I don't care. You know, I know that what we're doing is good work. And just because one time I made fun of she you know, the SJW she cartoon, these people can't let it go. I don't care. I think if I were one of these VTubers, I'd be glad I was getting any help at all. I'm sure this person's probably not a creator either. It's just some salty, uh, sad person. Uh, just thinking of all the amazing things this this community has done, uh, whether it was with MXR, uh, Juke and Media, the Cat Guy, uh, VTubers, you all should really be proud uh, about the work that you've done and that know that going forward, uh, you know, I think that you should feel confident that we can make a difference. And I'm actually going to tag Team YouTube in this video. And it's going to be a weird hashtag. It's going to be thank you, Team YouTube. People are going to be like, what the? No, screw Team YouTube. Look, you've got to, you can't just use the stick all the time. You've got to reward uh, somebody when they do good and you've got to hope that they just do more good than bad and uh, I'm thankful that team YouTube responded so quickly to this. I'm thankful that all of you uh, uh, Worked so hard to spread the word and uh, I'm thankful for all of you. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon